So the bass flute looks like a tiny little younger sibling to this wonderful monstrosity, the contrabass flute, which uh, I lovingly call this one in particular Big Bertha. Big Bertha was given her name by the great Pauline Oliveros. When Pauline was writing a piece for, for me and for the instrument, I was calling the instrument um, Brunhilde at the time. I just thought she looked like a Brunhilde. Pauline and, and her partner looked at it and, and they said, that's not Brunhilde, that is Bertha. That's Big Bertha. So, Big Bertha was born. So, Bertha plays all of the sounds that we've talked about on the littler flutes. And, you know, even just the very first exploration that we did, where I'm just lightly tapping the keys. I don't even know how to play the flute yet. I'm just exploring the percussive qualities of this instrument and the beautiful, very different sound of each one of these keys and each one of their combinations. And what happens if you play, for instance, a piece of uh, standard repertoire on this flute, I'll play, um, I don't know, we were talking about the cello, so I'll play, I'll play a little Tchaikovsky on it. And watch what happens to the keys. like a different melody that's happening with not just the depression but also the release of these keys. You can hear it even more in something a little faster. So here's the beginning of uh, the Bach partita. Sounds pretty funny on the contrabass flute, but here goes. <laughs> qualities of this, the air that I'm putting through the instrument, you hear these releases and, and they happen at a different rhythm because the releases of each key uh, or combination of keys is of course different for each note. So for this reason, I really love talking with percussionists and specifically with percussionists who are also composers and improvisers about ways to use Big Bertha and all of her glory, the sounds that this instrument can make with air and the sounds that, that the instrument can make with percussion and keys and hands. Um, and, and one, of the, one of my favorite pieces was written by the great drummer, percussionist, composer, multi-instrumentalist, Taishan Sori. Taishan is one of the most extraordinary people that I've ever worked with. And he wrote a piece for the unusual combination of contrabass flute and drum set that explores all of the different qualities of, of the instrument. So it begins with a, with a melody that actually takes the Varez to that little minor second, major second turnabout and turns it around, plays with it, turns it upside down, inside out, and um, makes a little little romp with it. It sounds like this in the beginning. in this video of me and Taishan. <laughs> Bit of 
this piece that is called Bertha's Lair. I should have told you the name of the piece first, but it's called Bertha's Lair. And uh, one of the really interesting things about this piece is that there's notation in it that looks like this. And there's also notation in it that looks like this. And what do we do with the second page? What do we do with a page that's essentially blank? And Tashan, who's an incredible improviser, uses this notation to invite the flutist to make music and to turn Big Bertha into a drum set that attempts to be on par with the, the drum set of, uh, of a great player like Taishan Sori. Now, I can't ever play as well as Taishan does, but uh, to try is a lot of fun. And so what I'm gonna do is just demo for you in isolation, because there's a lot going on in that video, what an improvisation might be like without the drum set. So I'll sort of imagine Taishan in, in my imagination. And for now, I'm gonna give myself the parameters of just the sounds that we've talked about today. So just these sounds, then adding different, um, different, different lip pizzicato to them, flutters, covered flutters, <coughs> uncovered flutters, uh, and all of these ranges of, uh, of the sounds as well as syllables, all that stuff. Okay, so here is a tiny little uh, improv. I'm gonna conjure Taisha in my imagination, and here we go. <laughs> things I encourage you to take every single one of these sounds and ones that you invent on your own and just like a word that you're using in a sentence and then to tell a story play with it play with it and see how many different stories you can tell all of that ends up in the way that we make music whether we're playing Mozart or whether we're composing a new piece or making up music with a friend on the spot so lastly I want to talk about a piece that uses actually five different flutes and incorporates many of the things we've talked about today. It's a piece by the wonderful pianist and composer Vijay Iyer. Vijay is an incredible composer, also improviser and teacher, and just an all-around great guy. And he asked me to make for him five improvisations, each about a minute to a minute and a half in length, with non-pitched material, so a lot of the sounds that we've talked about in this session, on five different flutes. The piece is called Five Empty Chambers. And so what he did, was take recordings, Bertha's just gonna take a little rest there, take recordings of each one of these improvisations and then he overlaid them, made music from them. Um, in some eras we've called this tape music, music that is based on recordings and that's a piece of fixed media, Varese's time, called it musique concrète, concrete music, and added these really awesome beats to it. So I'll play you a little excerpt of the piece. The piece has no score. The score basically is a little memory boxes of these five improvisations that I made. But I'll play you some of these same sounds. Um, I'm not gonna do a transcription of my improvisation on the piece. I'm just gonna make one up for you right now that uses a lot of these sounds that we just heard on Bertha and on the other flutes on the piccolo, since the piccolo is featured prominently in, in this piece. So here we go. So another instrument that features prominently in the piece is this little clay flute, which was a gift from Pauline Oliveros. And I encourage you, flute players, wherever you go in the world, when you go with your families on a trip, when you travel for whatever reason, pick up a flute, just a tiny little flute from whatever place you are. And if you don't know how to play it, that's fine. You can find somebody that will teach you how to play it. But to expand your vocabulary, by looking at other aerophones and their qualities, their sounds and their percussive qualities as well, and, and inviting yourself to learn from them. So I didn't know how to play this flute, but Pauline gave it to me and I 
was really inspired by the sounds that it made. I just made two pitches at once. And so when Vijay asked me to make these little five improvisations on five flutes, I thought, well, I'm going to include this one in there too. So you'll hear the sound in the piece as well. So here's a little excerpt of Five Empty Chambers by Vijay I.